I found a way to work from home. So I started taking, uh, it was a virtual call center. I started taking calls and you know, doing customer service thing. Now check this out though. From 12 years of being out there with people to basically isolation for the next three years, I was, listen, the first six months of working from home, think about it. I had no one to talk to. <laughs> I, and by the way, why? Because, right, so usually with taking calls, uh, they want you to, uh, to have a professional environment so they don't want a bunch of noise in the background and, right, I have my kids and, and stuff like that. And, and, and by that uh, at that time, I also had a dog. So, I mean, I had to be super, so I had to seal the door, <laughs> you know, and practically don't come out till uh, my, my break or my lunch. And so, and, and all I'm doing is there's, I don't have any mirrors. I'm not even looking at myself. It's just me and the computer. Isolation, eight, nine hours per day, Monday through Friday, sometimes on Sunday, sometimes on Saturday too, but very often five to six days a week for six months. That drove me crazy. I kid you not. That drove me crazy because I started drinking. I started drink I started drinking a beer uh and the beer was not enough. So I went ahead and started drinking um uh um you know, I'm not pretty I'm not I'm not pretty good with the alcohol stuff, but you know, I, I went with a hard liquor after beer. <laughs> you know, I started mixing my own liquors with soda and all that stuff. And literally I f I was depressed. I went through depression through that time. After six months of doing that, I said, no, that's it. I quit. And then, of course, I quit and something else showed up here at home that was a little bit better. And so I kept going and going and going. So anyway, for the past, for the next three years of that time through my life, I figure out there was a lot of things in my heart that I needed to deal with. Um, I actually had more time to to really, like I'm asking you today, you know, think about it. What if this is the time for you to reevaluate your life? And it did. It happened a lot with me. There was a lot of things that I didn't even know. And I realized because I was isolated for the for those three years, I saw a lot of me. How can I improve? Read books, watch videos, you know, heard audios, you know, all the good stuff to self self growth, right? Self development. But more importantly, it was to do with my family and it got me closer. I got to understand what a family is supposed to be as a dad, as a husband. I, I got to understand a lot of things. I got to pray more. I got to, <clears throat> I got to understand the purpose and talents that we have all been created and that we have inside. And I also had, uh, got to understand the reasons there's reasons. There's always there's always a reason for things to happen. And I tell you what, I, I see it now more than that, more than ever, more than back then. But back then, within those three years, I figure out that for every cause, everything that happens, every, every action, every situation, there's a reason for it. We don't see it right away. But when I look back, Today, today, I'm telling you, huge reason why that happened back in 2012. See? Okay, I didn't know this was going to happen uh, in today's world. I mean, right? Am I saying uh, that was preparation from them to, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. But I'm telling you, I choose to see those challenges, those obstacles, those situations that prepare me to be the person who I am today. And so what if for you <clears throat> this time, let me drink some coffee. What if for you this time is a time of preparation? It's a time of discovery. It's a time of pressing the pause button and rewinding the video, your story, your movie of your life and finding out, are you where you're supposed to be or 
or are you at a point where maybe you need to change them some things?